Rien de tout ce faux que le mari Et de me dire qu'il désire à lui Et on just have a fun practicing Yeah Watch the swift kick, hit, click, stare, watch the syncopate. Life is a symphony, it's better off you integrate. Bang, bang, switch lanes, the battles in your inner space. Twist start the padlock, now welcome to the hidden place. Bounce, my palace is my throne, and I ain't taking prisoners. Hope heaven is your home, and dismiss you in the history. Afraid to miss you when you gone, and uh, uh, when I'm on, I'll be swayed by the other energy. If it's faith, then it's what it's meant to be. If it's fake, you won't find it meant to be. But don't entertain with the waste of batteries. I'll be all oh, to the mountain cliff that we go. To the mountain top of sea low. Let me rap with something we wrote. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Invoke realness. Won't talk to feelings. It won't stop me, your wind. And I'm planting seeds everywhere I go in it. Running it, DMC, Russell Simmons from the mountain top, 303, closer to the heavens, can't let what they think of me, persuade my vision in the space where the vision speaks, was only visible in my POV, bearing all the pain, trying to be low key, I know there's better days every day I see, just cause you got a little fame, don't be your B.O.G., hot rhythm light, so I keep my head up till the doves fly, and I keep my head up when the doves cry, candlelight lit up when no sunshine, when the battle every time I wake up, see the sun rise. Uh, yeah, 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 integrated now, uh, been elevated now, uh, yeah, hella hell oh, now. Be swayed by the other energy, if it's faith, then it's what it's meant to be, if it's fake, you won't find it meant to be, but don't entertain with a waste of batteries, I'll be all to the mountain cliff that we go, to the mountain top of sea low, let me rap with something we wrote, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Invoke realness, won't talk to feelings, it won't stop me, your will, and I'm planting seeds everywhere I go.
to fulfill everything that God ordained for you. Hello, you all, and welcome to Revelation Church. We will now inform you of our Lifeline Essentials. Your attention is key, as this may differ from any church service you've experienced before. If this is your first visit, we welcome and greet you in the name of our Lord Jesus. If you've already been here before, it's great to see you again, family. How are you staying connected? The information booth is where you can find our Lifeline QR code so you can officially become a member of Revelation Nation. And to those who are watching online, don't worry. You can scan the code too. We love to have you join us online. Beyond joining us every Sunday and every Prophetic Thursday, it's important to keep growing spiritually. Sign up for PowerShot, a daily devotional on realms of meditation led by Prophet Lovi himself. You could visit us on prophetlovi.com. And it doesn't stop there. We love growing middle schools and high schools here at Revelation Youth. On top of that, we meet in person on Fridays and every Tuesday for Global Zoom Prayer. Daughters of Revelation, hosted by Prophetess Maggie, gather together every first Tuesday of the month, and the whole Rev Nation family come together to pray every first Saturday of the month with Apostle Gershon. Zoom link available. The world is changing all around us, and your help enables us to spread the message of Jesus. You can do this by connecting what matters most to you to who matters most to you. When you give your offering in-house, please write legibly using the envelopes in the seat back in front of you. Prefer to give online? The accepted methods will appear on your screen. Be sure to follow us on all social media platforms and tag us in your pictures and your videos. Many people worldwide have encountered this house and the message of Jesus. All because someone liked, subscribed, and shared something very real happening right here. If you have any questions, just stop by the information booth in the lobby or visit the website at revelationchurchla.org. Thank you for your attention. We know this will be a service where you will encounter God. The time is now. Your time is now. The Lord has something just for you. <laughs> Blessings, everyone, and happy prophetic service day. Yes, we are so excited to have every one of you joining us, both in the Sanctuary, Overflow, 520, <laughs> online. Tia, hello. Hello, I Eleonora. Missed I missed you too. It's been a minute, but we are back again. And let me tell you, there is nothing, absolutely nothing like prophetic service. So again, we are so blessed to have all of you with us, especially our online family. You are indeed family to us. So let us know in the chat where you're watching from. We love you and we're so glad you're here. Yes, we are, and we have so many ways that you can connect and join with us, so hear us out. Revelation Youth now meets every Friday at 6.30 p.m., but we have switched switch things up a little bit, so from now on, the middle school students will meet twice a month, and the high school students will meet twice a month. So we look forward to having our middle schoolers for your first life skill session, April 19th. Revelation Youth? Stay updated on everything on our website, revelationchurchla.org. That's right. We got something for the kids and we got something for the adults. Ooh, and YOLO, it. you only live once, so make sure you come to Solo here to talk about that. We got some special guests. Come on in. Hello. Hey. How you doing? Hi. Hi. Yo. What's going on? Hi, guys. I'm Brittany. And I'm Smacks. And we are your hosts for tomorrow's event happening April 19th. Our singles ministry presents Solo the Summit. Doors open at 6.30 p.m. And also, registration is now closed, but you can still go to revelationchurchla.org and, and, and registrate, not registrate, but you can get on there and get that, that link for the private link. To join us on, online. Yep. All right. Uh, we have food, DJ, special guests. You do not want to miss it, okay? Yeah, so we got everything, right? So we got yeah. April 19, 630. Yeah. Doors okay. open. Oh, yeah. So let's just get straight to it. Yeah, All right. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. Listen, 
This is not a speed dating event, okay? Amen? Amen. Okay, this is not Bachelor or Bachelorette. Yeah, exactly. This is not love is blind. This is not flavor of love. This is not love on hey, the spectrum. Hey, this is, hey, I, I, I think too they much, got it. Too Listen, much Netflix. Too we much Netflix. are going to connect with like-minded individuals, okay? We are going to discover some things about ourselves, and I can guarantee you, you will grow, okay? Amen? Amen. All right. So listen, the link for the event will be sent to you before the event happens, okay? Before the event. What he said. All right. Okay. We'll see you there. We can't wait. That's Solo, right. it's our time, singles. Wait, wait, wait. What, is there an age limit for this event? Uh, 18 and up. If there's 17 and under, leave your kids at home, okay? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. We'll see you at Solo. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Well, we qualify, Tia. We do qualify. <laughs> Amen. I'm so excited to announce our new uh, events because as important as the spirit is, we cannot neglect our soul. That's because right. If it's in a healthy position, then we could manifest the spirit better. Okay. Right. So we are welcoming our newest addition from the Counseling and Mental Health Ministry. And we're thrilled to announce group therapy sessions Come where on. each meeting will dive into diverse topics crucial for personal growth, facing our past and healing. So our first session led by the esteemed Dr. Van Brown will focus on the profound journey of discovering purpose. Come join us and embark on a transformative path towards inner healing and fulfillment. Let's journey together towards wholeness. I, I love what you said. You cannot neglect the soul. Amen. We cannot. No, we can't. And another thing you can't neglect are your belongings. So quick reminder, Revelation family, don't forget your after service belongings check. You don't want to leave anything behind, but if you do, you can go to the lost and found in the lobby. Just keep in mind that items will only be held for two weeks. So locate it quickly and grab it quickly before it's gone. Yes, your nice highlighted Bibles and That's iPhones, right. and whatever yeah, you want to leave. Those Stanley <laughs> Cups. I might come for that Stanley Cup on week three. That's right. Well, guys, I'm excited to have some guests to announce to us a wonderful event yes. that's going to happen Beautiful. this Sunday. So check this out. Come on in, special guest. Hello. Hey. Hi, family. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you guys. Hi, I'm Esther, and I am co founder of the nonprofit Pearls of Gratitude. And our nonprofit, we raise awareness and we also raise funds to help fight child sex trafficking. And this Sunday, we're hosting an event like no other nonprofit event you've ever seen before. It's going to be so exciting, and Dana's going to tell you more about it. Yes, like my sister said, this is an event like no other. This is April 21st, this Sunday. Make sure you guys get your tickets. It's for 5 p.m., and this is a night of powerful inspirational and real leaders in entertainment bringing their talents and their gifts together to fight a great cause against sex trafficking so make sure you're there the information and you can see it is up on your screen pearlsofgratitude.org seating is limited make sure you're there live music dance poetry food and drinks so trust me come and you will be uh filled up like no other so we love you guys it's gonna be a night make sure you're there and yeah Amen. Thank Amen. You so Thank much. you all so much. What a great cause. Wonderful event. Wonderful yes, cause. Yes, we have so mon much fun at this church and for a beautiful cause, all to the glory of God. But there is one event yes. that I cannot leave out. You guys, it is that time again for Healed. Can yes. I hear you make some noise for the Healed Conference? Come on, make some noise. Hard to hear you guys. That's right. <laughs> Coming up May 3rd and May 4th is our annual Healed Conference. And this year, the focus is prophetic healing. And we are a prophetic church, so this fits right in. It is the intention, the absolute intention of God that each of us experience the benefit of healing. And at Healed Conference, you'll come to know the mind of God concerning healing and be equipped to be carriers of healing for the benefit of those around you and to the glory of our great and mighty God. So for that, registration is available for in-person attendance as well as online. So we didn't forget about you online family. You can partake. Slots always fill up quickly. Guys, please do not wait until the last minute. Sign up today, register today, so you don't miss your spot to attend. Go and register at ProfitLovey.com, and we will see you there for a powerful time at this year's Healed 2024. Mm -hmm. Wow, so so many miracles. I expect Signs, so many miracles. Wonders. Signs, wonders. Yes. <laughs> well, as you guys see, 
the Lord has led us to prepare so many events for all of you. So make sure you don't miss out on even one of them. Right. And with that being said, on that note, I am excited to invite our very own special yes. Apostle Gershon that he may lead us into prayer yes. and we may get this night started in the presence of the Lord. That's right. So again, happy prophetic service to you all. Let's prepare for prayer. Amen. Amen. How are we doing tonight? Glory to God. Can we rise to our feet and honor our Lord Jesus Christ? Hallelujah. Ah, thank you, Lord. We give you praise. I want you to welcome your friend, and you would ask why I would say that. The Word of God says that where two or three agree on a thing, that it will come to pass. So I just want you to shake your friend, shake your neighbor, and say, welcome into the presence of God where there is liberty. And I agree with you tonight that it is well with you. Come on, tell them. I agree with you tonight that you will experience the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And when, if you believe that, Begin to lift your voice and thank God tonight. Glory to God. Glory to God. I am excited tonight. I am so excited tonight that I want to praise God with you. I want us to lift our voice together and give him praise and give him glory. And thank God for such a time as this. Oh, glory. You see, I can read what I wanted to read to you tonight. But it, it's better when it comes from your insides. When you remember the goodness of God. That he is your Lord. When you remember that he has seen you through. That he has seen you through this week. Oh, he's not done with you. He's not done with me. His mercies are new every morning. Come on, somebody. You have a reason to give him praise. Lift your voice and let's give him glory. Thank you, Master. We worship you, Lord. If it had not been for you on our side, where would we be? We thank you. We thank you. We thank you for our families. We thank you for our households. We thank you for our marriages. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that yes, we still stand because you're not done with us. We lift our voice. We give you praise. Libra na mazundi ba 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 Eba na makanta la ba da ba vi Yes Lord we can sing a new song Lede ne mo janda ba da ba ba ya Made lede de bo shabra Father even the ones that are joining us online We lift them before the throne of grace That tonight they will experience Your visitation and your power Because your word says you are not limited by time, by space, or by location. So as we stand as your church, we lift our families before the throne of grace. May it be well with their hopes. May it be well with everything that they do. In the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord, because you have confirmed in your word that with man it is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So, Father, I thank you that all things will be possible for the children of God today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. I want you to lift your voice tonight. It is your time. It is your season. It is your opportunity. I want you to lift your voice and say, Lord, I thank you. Because today I receive, I receive your blessings. As the prophet goes, 
about the sanctuary, Lord. Father, may I be the highlight. May he see me. Speak to the prophet on my behalf. Speak to the prophet on my behalf. Use him to your glory. And let me be highlighted tonight. Father, those things that I need to hear, oh, may I hear tonight according to your word, according to your word by your prophet, that even if I'm online, Father, may me be highlighted because we've seen it done over and over again. Oh, Radaba Shunda Baraba Kusta Paya Ramana Makandele de Boja Radaba Sobranima Zendele Vedesto Ilanaba Sobranama Santa Bacato Radaba Zabika Roste Madere de Bashanda Babaya Rana Makonde Levada Baba Ilanaba Sobranama Zonde Mazonde Levada Babaya Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Now, before we get into a time of praise, before we get into a time of worship, I want you in your own words to thank him like never before. The word of God says in his presence, there is joy. May the spirit of the Lord quicken you with joy lift up your voice and thank the lord in your own words lift up your voice give him praise tonight give him glory tonight make a joyful sound unto the lord Let that noise be a joyful noise unto his glory, unto his glory. Hey,
choice. Every glory. Hey, come on, they say. And the people of God say, hey. And the people of God say, hey. And the people of God say, hey. And somebody make a joyful noise in this building. This is a day, this is a day that the Lord has made. Come on. That the Lord has made. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and be glad in Sing it. Sing loud in it. This is a day Come on. that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and
in the name of Jesus. Yes, there's power in his name. There is power in the name of Jesus.
get straight when we release that name. When I call your name. Song says, Jesus said, the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus. Can I sing it again? Jesus said, the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. Oh. From beginning to the end, it will always be, it's always been you, Jesus. Jesus, nothing else. the center and everything revolves around you Jesus you say Jesus at the center of it all come on church say Jesus at the center of it all say Jesus at Jesus at the center of it all from beginning Say Jesus at the center of it all. Say Jesus at the center of it all. Jesus at the center of it all. From beginning to the end, it will always be. Nothing else, cause nothing Father, let your glory be revealed. Huh? From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all about you. Yes, it's all about you. From my heart to the heavens, Jesus be the center. It's all
I want you out here to raise your voice now. Raise the volume now. Sing praise. Sound good. Yes, you are. Hey. Yes, you are. His presence is here in this room tonight. Yes, Yes, you are. 
This place you love with praise. Can you hear the sound of heaven touching you? Oh, the sound of heaven touching you. Our Father, all of heaven rolls your name. Sing louder. Let this place you can you hear it? Can you hear it? Can you hear it? Yeah, can you hear it? Can you feel him? Hey, can you feel him tonight? Can you feel him? Yeah, can you feel him?
to think about, really. Because even when I don't see it show working, that's what happened to me this week. <laughs> hey, now even when I don't see it show working, I had to really tap into that this week. Oh, even when I don't see it show working, did somebody feel this week that way? Come on and sing that with me. Now even when I don't see it, yeah. Yeah, I just want you to say that you're working, because this is a prophetic house. Now even when I don't see it, what? Yeah, 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 yeah. Even when, and even when I don't feel it, you're working for me, you're working for me. Yeah. And even when I don't feel it, hey, say your word, yeah. hey, oh. And even when I don't see it, and even when I don't feel it, you never stop, you never, hey, you never stop, no, no.
Father, we thank you for this time. Glorify yourself. Manifest yourself amongst us. Cleanse us and purify us, O oh Lord. May we receive your grace and your mercy even in this hour. Father, we thank you for your son, Jesus, who is Lord and God over our lives. Father, be glorified now and eternally. In Jesus' name. And everybody said, clap your hands to the Lord. Hallelujah. May the Lord Jesus bless you. Touch your neighbor, say neighbor. May the Lord Jesus bless you. Find somebody and hug them and tell them the Lord Jesus bless you. The Lord Jesus is worthy of all praise and adoration. Amen. Now, I am going to attempt to do Mission Impossible. Because uh, I want to minister while I preach by the grace of God. Um, Uncle Fred, I miss you. I miss you big time. Uh, I have... My father summoned me, so I'm trying to serve and run to him and come back. So, I'm trying to see how I'll do this by God's grace. I trust me, I try to get out of it. But if the old man calls me, I have to go. So, grab your Bibles as fast as you can. Blessed Russ. <laughs> Ecclesiastics chapter 3, verse 11. Ecclesiastics 3 and 11. Apostle, God bless you, sir. If you are there, shall glory. I can hear you. Glory. I can hear you. Glory. Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse number 11. Can we read it together? One, two, three. He has made everything beautiful in, in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God made from the beginning to the end. One more time. One, two, three. So, so that, that no man can find out the work that God made it from, from the beginning, beginning to the end. One more time, one, two, three. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart. So that no man can find out the work that God made it from the beginning to the end. One last time, one, two, three. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also, he has set the world in their heart so that no man can find out the work that God made it from the beginning to the end. You may sit in heavenly places. Now, I'm going to try and attempt to teach you as fast as I can a message that will carry you over to where God wants you to be. Amen. Now, the Bible is saying he had made... Everything beautiful in his time. The Bible is not saying he will make. He's saying he has. Past tense. Past present tense. He has made everything beautiful in his time. Also he has set the world in their hearts. So that no man can find out the work that God maketh from the beginning to the end. Now notice the Bible is saying two things here. Number one is that God has already made everything beautiful. Amen. 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 You see you don't even believe it because you don't understand what God determines to be beautiful. When we look at the Lord Jesus, the world says there was nothing to behold of him. There was no beauty. When you looked at the Lord Jesus, there was nothing 
that attracted you to him. He was regular. But in the eyes of God, he was his only begotten. But his beautification did not come when he was walking on the earth. It came when God needed to manifest himself at his death. Then you really saw who Jesus was from the beginning. When he walked on the earth, you could have said, mm, he's like the other prophets like Isaiah. Maybe he's like Jeremiah. Maybe he's like Elijah. Maybe he's like Elisha. But after the cross, you realize like, uh-uh. This was not a prophet. This was God in flesh. Amen. Now, the Bible is saying God has made everything beautiful. He has made everything beautiful. This is why also scripture says, all things work for your good. Beauty in the eyes of man is when everything is working out. Beauty in the eyes of God is when everything gives an opportunity for God to present himself. Amen. Amen. Good. When you open your Bible, the first expression of God was that everything was in chaos. Between Genesis verse 1 and verse 2, it's called the gap year. There's millions of years between verse 1 and verse 2. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. Verse 2, and the earth was without form. What happened? He created it. Everything. He has never made anything without form. He has never created anything without purpose. He has never created anything without it fulfilling a certain destiny. God doesn't just create things to create things. Nothing is without purpose. So if you know the character of God, then you know something went wrong between these two parts. Then when you read the Isaiah, as you read the book of Revelation, you understand that between verse 1 and 2 is where we find the fall of Satan. But notice, between verse 1 and verse 2, nothing about God was written in any account. Why? There was no chaos that God needed to put to rest. That's good. You will see God because you are going through some things. Amen, amen. If you are not going through anything, you won't see him. Amen. You see, many of you believe the presence of God is because everything is going well. The presence of God is manifested when things are not going well because that is the only time you can see him. Amen. Let me find somebody I can preach to. But here's the problem. Here's the problem. Look at this. Also, he has set the world in their hearts so that man cannot find out. Now, there are two kinds of humans that we have. We have men according to the flesh and we have men according to the spirit. He that is born of the spirit is spirit, is no longer man. Amen. I'll say that one more time. On. He that is born of the spirit is what? Spirit. So we have spirits that are walking in the flesh. And we have flesh that wants to be spirit. Come on. Let me say that one more time. The Lord Jesus was a spirit dwelling in the flesh. Why can we, how can we say that conclusively? Because Jesus was not ruled by the flesh. He saw everything beyond the flesh. Everything he did proved that he was a man of the spirit. Now when you are Christian but you cannot believe tomorrow will be better. If you believe in Yahweh, you believe in El Elohim, El Shaddai. You believe that he is God. But you look at your life, you think you are going to fail. Understand you are the man that this scripture is speaking about. He has set the world in their hearts so that no man can know what God has made beautiful from the beginning to the end. So those who don't know are not spiritual. Those who know are spiritual. Amen. Amen. If you know after you leave this place, you are blessed. Amen. You should know after you leave this place, you'll be healed. Amen. 
You should know after you leave this place, you will prosper. You should know after you leave this place, you will increase. Why? Because spirits know. They have insight and foresight. But the flesh doesn't. Somebody in the flesh can have all the proper ideas of how physical life will go. But they base everything according to their strength. They cannot go beyond where they are. If things go wrong, they cannot see life after right now. But if you're born of the spirit, you immediately understand that if your life is based on the flesh, you can be bought. Come on, that's so good. Touch your neighbor, touch your neighbor, touch your neighbor, say neighbor. Neighbor. If you live according to the flesh, you can be bought. You can be bought. Look at this. Satan comes to the Satan comes to the Lord Jesus. He offers him kingdoms because he thought Jesus has a price. If Jesus is flesh, he will live and die. If you offer him kingdoms, you are offering him kingdoms according to the flesh. How long is he going to keep them for? He li- his life expectancy was 33 years and a half. Whether he goes on the cross or not, he's dying. He was born to die. So even if you give him kingdoms at 30 years old, he has three years to enjoy it. What will he do with it? So anyone who invests in the flesh can be bought. Amen, amen. There are so many people that say, oh, I would never sell my soul. Many of you are already on the market. Because if you don't live according to the spirit, you have already been bought. If you are chasing after cars, you are chasing after houses, you are chasing, you have already been bought. Amen. Let everyone's adorning be of the inward man. That there is no corruption, not the outward man. The moment you invest on the outward man, you have been bought. Amen. Because if you are born of the spirit, you know that everything has already been made beautiful. It means your present suffering shall not compare to the glory that is about to be revealed. Not the glory that will come. Here, 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 here. Pay attention. Your present suffering will not compare to the glory that will be revealed. It did not say the glory that will come. Many of you are waiting for breakthrough because you're in the flesh. Oh, I know you didn't like that. The Bible says he has given you everything pertaining to life and godliness. You have to understand this about God. If God needs to create a solution for you because you are in trouble, he is not God. It means he has no foresight. It means he's not in control of all things. Because when you read Genesis chapter 2 verse 1, it tells you God rested from all his work. He is at rest. So if indeed he is God... Which in Revelation 5 he says, And to the Lamb was crucified from the foundations of the earth. Notice even Jesus' death was a copy-paste. God just took an event that already happened and he put it in time. So if if he has to make up a solution, he is not God. Don't worship him. The word time there, look at this. He says, he had made everything beautiful in his time. Now, let me ask you a question. God has made everything beautiful in what? His time. He lives in eternity. There is no time. So what time was it? Because the name time there is a measure. Hello? Hello. It is a measure. It's a period. But what period because God has no periods? What season because God has no seasons? God is not doing anything based on 
what time it is. Okay, in five minutes, I'm going to do this. If five minutes is controlling God, then he is not God. Because time cannot control him. He ordains times and seasons. So he, made, he, made, he had made everything beautiful in his time. Now the question you have to ask yourself, what is his time? It's not now. Because right now you're still struggling. <laughs> and now let's keep it to 1,000%. What is his time? What is his time? Because you have to remember, the God we are talking about, his time does not operate from our dimension. He is not even in a dimension. He is eternal. He is outside of time because he is the ordainer of time. And he is not in a location outside of time because there is no place outside of him. I want you to think about that for a second. God does not have a dwelling like a house. He has a dwelling in the natural realm. Because you cannot experience something, I cannot experience something unless it is in a place. So God to make himself known amongst us, even though he is omnipresent, he has places that you can encounter him. God is everywhere, but he's not found everywhere. You came to church because you want to encounter him. But he's also in your house. Why did you have to come? Are you understanding? God has ordained locations that he makes himself known. Hello. Hello. I'm just pushing your mind to think a little bit. So if God made creation, which he did, where was he? People say God is in heaven. It is true, but God is also on earth. Just as much as he is in heaven. But where was he before he made all these things? Because if he lives in a place, the question is who made that place? Either he is that place. Because if he has to make a place, then he is not God. So what is his time? 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse 6. I'm going to push you to think spiritually. Look at this. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are what? Perfect. Now the question is who is perfect? I can't hear you. If, you, if you're not perfect, wave your hands. If you're not perfect, wave, wave your hand. If you're not perfect, wave your hands. That is your problem. Your problem is you think perfection is according to the flesh. You have measured perfection to the flesh. That is your problem. Wave your hands if you're not perfect. You're still waving. You are thinking perfection is measured to the flesh. And it is not. God measures your perfection according to your ability to absorb his spirit. Amen. Absorb his word. Because you cannot be perfected without him. So if anyone thinks because I don't lie, because I don't steal, because I don't do this, I'm perfect. You are a fool. Because that's called self-righteousness. It doesn't qualify you for anything in the sight of God. Because God only accepts what he has done. He does not accept what another has done. Is this making sense? Yes. So who is a perfect person? A perfect person according to God is somebody that can perceive things of the spirit. Somebody that can hear his voice and say that is God speaking. Somebody that can see his works. Look at this. How be it we speak wisdom among them that are perfect. Yet not the wisdom of this world, meaning it has nothing to do with the flesh. Amen. Nor of the princes of this world, meaning it has nothing to do with the people the world considers successful. That come to nothing. Verse 7. 
but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom which God ordained when? Before the world unto our glory. Notice. Anyone who is to know God must know him from the beginning. Come on. Come on. Good. You didn't hear what I'm saying. I pray. I'm praying this message doesn't go over to you because this is a prophetic message. If you are to know God, you must know him from the beginning. But what does it mean to know him from the beginning? Our father Moses showed us an example. When he encountered God, he asked God, show me who you are. God said, okay, you can't see me, but I will show you my past. So God showed him how he made creation. So Moses had substance of what he believed in. Because he saw what God did in the beginning. He knew that where they are going, they are going to succeed. The problem is your problems have consumed you even though you have entered the realm of the spirit. Amen. You know God is able, but your problems are louder than God. They are louder than the testimony of what God can do. So you find yourself in a place hindered because the glory that you want is not coming. It is already present. It just needs to be revealed. Amen. But if it is to be revealed, you have to know that God did this from the beginning. Amen. He is not doing it now. He did it from the beginning. Meaning I have been in his mind from the time he ordained for me to come into the world. Meaning the sickness I am going through is not a surprise to God. He already has a solution for it. The struggles I am going through, he already has a solution for it. The finances I need, he already has a solution for it. The elevation I need, he already has a... Let me talk to somebody that... So what is holding you? What is holding you? Is not prayer. Is that you have failed to see. When we prophesy to people. When I prophesy to people. I am just trying to show you what has already been. God is not telling me something he didn't tell you. You just don't have the ears to hear. Or the eyes to see it. God does not hide anything from his children. So when I look at you, I say, your name is this. You already know your name. I'm just showing you now. Your shock is that, how does this man know me, yet he has never spoken to me? Now I have your attention. Then I go straight to your problem. You're like, eh, does he live with me? How does he know this thing that, notice, I already know your problem. It means God already knew it. Amen. I am just discovering it because he's telling me. And he's also showing me the way out for you because he already showed you, but you didn't hear it. Amen. No one can bless you with something God did not already give you. Maybe you didn't hear me. Let me say it one more time. Especially for those who are clapping, may it be double, tripled, quadrupled in the sight of God. No one can lift you except God. Somebody can plead with God according to their grace for God to do something for you. But God will only do what you already planned and planted in you for you to receive. Amen. So problems attract God. And problems are an opportunity for God. The Bible says it this way. It says, I will glory in my weakness that the power of Christ may rest. So problems make God permanent, not prayer. Oh, hold on. Let me rewind. I know you didn't hear me. Let me... Whenever there is a problem, it presents an opportunity for you to see God. And when you see God, you realize that uh, I am not able to deal with these issues. And because you have determined that you cannot, now you make a permanent room for good. For God to dwell with you. That you don't need another problem to invite him. He can be permanent so that the glory can be continuous. Amen. 
Many of you turn on the glory, turn it off. Turn it on, turn it off. When you receive, you turn it off. Until the next episode. There is problems again. Oh, Father, my God. Without you, I can't do anything. But the desire of God is for it to be continuous, consistent, without fail. Because God never fails. So the glory that God is giving you tonight, it is an activation of whatever was already inside of you. Amen. Let me give you a little insight. Let me give you a small insight. Let me give you a small insight. Woman of God, who did you come with? You, 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 you with, yes. Who did you come with? With your kids? I need to talk to you. Uh, um, calculate six months from now, back. What's six months from now? You are targeted in November by the enemy. You should have died in November, you. Yes. Huh? Yes. You know that? Yes. Yes, because I'm seeing it now in, with my eyes. Yes. But the Lord made you jump over. Amen. When I pray for you, the things you have been waiting for will come out of you. Amen. So wipe your tears. Wipe your tears. Hallelujah. November 15th, you are supposed to die. God rescued you. Yes. Amen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to get into this. My spirit is rising. Amen. So, so hear me. Hear me. Hear me. Hear me by the spirit of God. Hear me. Hear me by the spirit of God. Hear me. How do I know how God is going to show up? Because you have to know the location. If you don't know where God is going to appear, then you will miss him. Hello? Oh. Wait, wave your hands if you can hear me. If you don't know where God is going to appear, then what will happen? You will miss him. You will miss him. So how do I know the location the glory is going to pop up? Hello? Oh. The question is, where does God show up? You need to look in your life and see what is missing. When Elijah was sent to a certain woman, the woman had her last cake to bake. So when God manifested in the house of that woman, he manifested as what? Flour and oil. All right, come on. So there was bread and oil every single day. So I'm asking you, where is God going to show up for you? Some people are still not hearing me. I'm going to say it one more time. There was a drought on the earth. Elijah was being fed by the brook. Then God would send him food with ravens. Then God told him when the brook dried up, he said, I'm sending you to a certain woman. I have ordered her to feed you. That woman was about to eat her last cake, bread, cornbread. I will eat this. Me and my son are going to die. It was her last cornbread. That's how I know she's black. I'm joking. <laughs> so she's making her last cake. But when God came, he appeared in what she was about to lose. She did not see light. She did not see fire. She just noticed the oil is not running out. And the flour keeps filling up. So I am asking you a question. Some of you, God is about to appear in your bank. Amen. Some of you, God is about to appear in your children that went astray will come back. Amen. Some of you, God is about to appear to your wife to return home. Amen. Some of you, God is about to appear to your husband to come back home. Amen. Some of you, God is about to appear in a job. Am I talking to somebody? Yes. Come on, come on. In the area that you are missing is where God is coming. Yes. I want you to rise up and lift your hands to heaven. Yes. 
say in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name, name of Jesus. Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. Father, I know the place of your appearance. Father, I know the place of your appearance. Father, I understand now where to meet with you. Father, I understand now where to meet with you. Meet with you. Lord Jesus, I pray. Lord Jesus, I pray. May I find you in the midst of my situation. May I find you in the midst of my situation. Now look at this. If you read Psalm 23, David says, The Lord is my shepherd. He said, He leads me. He leads me to still waters. He leads me to green pastures. The only time he sees him is in the valley of the shadow of death. Yes. He said, Your rod yes. and your staff comfort me. Now he can see him. Before he was just seeing green water, where to lay his head. It is in the midst of issues that you see him. Amen. Amen. You are about to see God. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody lift your hand. Say, Father, Father. Father. Open my eyes to see you. Open my eyes to see you. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Open my eyes to see you. Open my eyes to see you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Father, open my eyes to see you. Open my eyes. Open my eyes to see you, Father. Father, open my eyes to see you, Lord. Open my eyes so that I may see you. in the midst of Father, every problem. Father, open my eyes to see you. Every situation. Open my eyes, O Lord, so that I may celebrate. I may celebrate when problems arise, when situations arise, because I know that you are there. I know that you are dwelling there. I know that you have shown up to solve the issue. Father, open, open my eyes to see you. Open my eyes to see you. Come on, lift your voice. Father, open my eyes to see you. Father, open my eyes to see you. Come on. Release that cry to God. Open my eyes to see you. 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 Oh, Zentoria Takayala Mandobaya. Concerning that child. Concerning my husband, my wife. Concerning my business. Concerning my finances. Concerning that case. Concerning my health. Father, open my eyes to see you. Father, open my eyes to see you. Father, open my eyes to see you. Let me see that you have already made all things beautiful. Come on, lift your voice. Akita ina mando baya rebezo, ira taya la kata ya na mando baya, ore bebe bezunta ya kete ya na mande ya, oche toli ya bori ando ya, ese tele kepe ya daya, izanda ya na mashote ya, eko poli ya mando ya. Father, open my eyes to see you. Open my eyes to see you. Open my eyes to see you. Come on, I will not miss when you show up in my life. I will not miss when you are moving in my situation. I will not miss your breakthrough, oh God. I will not miss the revealing of your glory over me. I will not miss it. I will not miss it. I will not miss where you want to show yourself. I will not miss where you want to show yourself. Father, open my eyes to see you. Open our eyes, God, to see you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. You are going to pray, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let your power rest on me. And let it be permanent. Let it never lift again. In the name of Jesus. Come on, lift your voice. Let your power rest on me. Let it will never lift again. Let it be permanent from today. 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 Let your power rest on me, God. May it never lift again. May it never lift again. As you show up this time. As you show up this time. As you show up this time, Lord. Let it be permanent. Let it be permanent. 
again. Let it never lift again. Let it never lift again. I don't want to have memories of your power. I don't want to have memories of walking with you. Let it be my daily reality. Let it be my daily walk. Let it be my daily experience. Not a memory of the past. Not a recollection of the past. I don't want to remember a day that I saw your power. I want to walk in it every day. I want to walk in it every day. As your power rests on me. Let it be permanent. Let it be permanent. Let it be permanent. Let it be permanent, oh God. Father, let it be permanent. Let it be permanent. Let it be permanent in my life, in the place of the trouble, in the place of the issue, in the place of the situation, Lord. Let your power be permanent. Oh, Zakante Alabariato. Amen. Father, let it be permanent. 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 Let it remain on me, God. Oh Lord. This next prayer point we're going to pray for you under the instruction of the prophet but I want you to align to that word as the spirit has spoken you are already perfect Amen. you are already perfect because of the one that is in you you are already perfect because of he who has already done it for you you don't need to prove yourself you don't need to offer anything supplemental for you to be accepted all that he ever required has already been presented you are already perfect you are already perfect you are already perfect so lift your voice and thank him that you are perfected in him tonight come on somebody open your mouth god i thank you that i'm already perfected because of Jesus, because of the cross, because of his sacrifice, I am already perfect. I am already perfect. I am already perfect. All that you required has already been given to you, Lord. All that you required has already been offered, Lord. All that you required, you already accepted. I thank you that I am perfected in you. I thank you that I am accepted in you. We thank you for perfection. Come on, thank him for it until your spirit believes it. I am perfected in him. I lack nothing. I lack nothing. He has given me everything pertaining to life and godliness. I thank you for perfecting me, God. I thank you that you are my perfection, Father. I thank you that you are my glory. I thank you that you are my reward. Thank you for perfecting me. Thank you for perfecting me. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for you tonight. If you have an issue, you have anything in your life that you see where the Lord wants to reveal himself. You see where God wants to show himself. As the prophet has instructed you, apostle and I will pray for you. And believe that God will reveal himself. The glory will be revealed. So under the direction of the ushers, if you're here tonight, just begin to come forward and we're going to pray for you. Thank you, Lord. You guys can worship.
as you are sitting don't just spectate be praying pray over your situation pray for these ones that are coming don't just spectate still be in prayer keep this atmosphere tap into the atmosphere thank you lord Let's rise up on our feet. Let's rise up on our feet. Tell him, Lord, I thank you that your glory is revealed. Lord, I thank you that your glory is released. Lord, I thank you that your glory breaks forth in my life. Your glory breaks forth in my family. Your glory breaks forth in my marriage. Come on. Your glory breaks forth over my children. Your glory breaks forth over every place that I step into. Come on, lift your voice. Thank him. Lord, we thank you that your glory is breaking forth. Your glory is being revealed. Your glory is coming forth. It is shining in the midst of darkness. It is settling on us. It is settling on us. It is settling on us. Come on. Your glory is revealed. 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 Come on, somebody see it. You can't be silent. If you see the glory breaking forth in your life, you can't be quiet. His glory breaks forth. His glory breaks through. His glory appears. His glory comes like a flood. Father, thank you for revealing the glory that was ordained since before the foundations of the earth. I thank you for the glory. The glory. The glory. Ordained for me. The glory ordained for my children. The glory ordained for my family. The glory ordained for your people. Lord, while we're still in this atmosphere just lift up those family members lift up all those loved ones even for those of you at home just lift it up in his presence father let your glory be revealed father let your glory be revealed father let your glory be revealed thank you for your glory is revealed even now Father, thank you that that report is changing. Thank you that that situation is turning around. Thank you, Father, that your people return with testimonies because of the grace that is here right now, because of what you have released over your people here right now. There is no distance in the spirit, Lord. So let your word go forth and touch in the four corners of the world. All those that are represented here, God, you see them, you know the case, you know the situation, and you know the root of it, God. Let your glory be revealed in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. 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 Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, the prophet's instruction was that you are going to see, in a couple of days, you're going to see what God has done in your lives, in your families. I can hear an amen in the house. Hallelujah. 
you are going to see the wondrous works of God Amen. in your life, in your situation. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I want you to lift your hands before you come to give your offerings of thanksgiving and all that. I want you to lift your hands. And let your prayer be, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for what you have done today. Thank you, Lord, for, thank you for the situation that has turned around. Thank you, Lord, for the circumstance that has turned around. I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. I give you all the honor. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for my family. Thank you, Lord, for them that I have brought in my heart to your house. For I know, I know that it is well. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now lift, lift your offerings before the throne of grace. Father, we thank you for the opportunity that we have to give towards your work. And we thank you that your word says when we do that, we will also see your goodness in everything that we do. So we thank you. It's just a token of our, our thanksgiving. And as we give it to you, we give it rejoicing, rejoicing. In Jesus' name, rejoicing. Are you ready to rejoice and give before the King of glory? Come on and shout and dance as you come to give. Glory to God.
the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. Go from this place knowing that you are blessed, that it is well with your family, it is well with your home, and it is well with all that you do. God richly bless you. We love you and we'll see you on Sunday. Amen. God bless you.